Hi friends, welcome back to the Saffron Box. Uh, in this video today, I shall be talking about Rahu in the sign of Capricorn. And uh, this is going to be the 10th video in the series of Rahu through signs. So you can go check out the other videos also I have put in the playlist. And uh, if you are interested in going through Rahu Ketu through different houses, uh, there is a playlist which I have put a link for in the description box. You will find it there and you can go have a look. And in case you are a new visitor here, you are visiting my channel for the first time, do not forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave and give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Right, so um, Rahu in the sign of Capricorn. First of all, this is a fantastic placement, provided you are able to manage a few things around, around this energy. Right, so uh, Capricorn is by default the 10th sign of the zodiac. It's the, uh, if you see the natural horoscope, it's the 10th, uh, it falls in the 10th house of the zodiac, the Karmsthan, the house of work. Right, so uh, what happens when we have Rahu here? We find that Rahu gives a big boost to the uh, qualities of the sign of Capricorn. Right, so Capricorn is an earthy sign. Capricorn represents duty, hard work, a sense of responsibility, organizational ability. You know, all the uh, qualities which are required to do well at work in your karmasthan, in your karm. That is what uh, Capricorn uh, signifies. So Rahu here, where it comes, Rahu energy is very well contained in an earthy sign like Capricorn. So it knows how to go about things. And if Rahu is well placed, it's in a good house like the 10th house or the 11th house. You know, uh, such people tend to manage this energy well. They know how to contain this energy. They know how to use this uh, energy in the, at the right time in the right amount. Right. So uh, Rahu gives them an, an ability to, uh, you know, organize things well. It gives them a very good sense of duty and dedication and discipline. So they know uh, how to go about their work. They know how dedicated they have to be to the, towards their work. They're very responsible people. And such people, you know, uh, have a sense of responsibility or a sense of dedication, determination right from the beginning, right from a very young age. So they are able to take on a lot of load, a lot of workload, a lot of uh, responsibility right from a very young age. And uh, generally what is found is that such people tend to be introverts. They are a little shy on the public side. So while they are doing their work, while they are performing their duties, they do not like to show off. They do not like to be, you know, very, very flamboyant about things. So they are, you know, while they, can, they are those dark horses who continue working. So they do not want too much of limelight on themselves. The idea is to keep working and, uh, you know, and somehow such people, uh, you know, when you have this kind of a placement and if the dashas are also favoring you, if the major periods are also favoring you, uh, such people tend to get success slowly and gradually, you know. And you suddenly find that, yes, this was a person who was unnoticed for a very long time. And he's the person, he's the guy who's making it, who's making it to the top. So this is a good placement when it comes to your career, when it comes to your work, fantastic placement. But there's a problem on the home front. So when I say problem, uh, by problem I mean that there's a, a tough time which these people have while balancing work and home. Because a lot of their energy goes towards organizing things at work, or, you know, outside house, outside their home. So uh, they, you know, tend to spend a lot of time outside at work. They tend to spend a lot of time organizing things. Uh, such people also tend to work for a lot of you know large organizations they, they do very well with large teams large organizations wherever there's a pyramidal structure so uh, and they keep on rising they keep on rising up the uh, ladder also with cheerily because of their hard work so they tend to you know uh, rely less on the, on luck on um, networking on uh, you know pr here and there that is not their modus operandi. They like to work and work very hard with a sense of dedication. So which leaves the home front a little neglected. I would say 80% of the time such people tend to neglect the home front. So a lot of times what happens 
the spouse takes on the role at home you know they are not able to dedicate that much uh, time uh, on home issues on entertainment on relaxation on doing things you know which give them pleasure so it's between business and pleasure it's always business which wins with such people right so they are very goal oriented people and as i said they like to work in large organizations they tend to rise high in large organizations because they know how to manage their teams properly and uh, such people also uh, you know they quantify success so uh, whatever they have to achieve you know they like to put a number to it they like to quantify so whether it is their business they talk in terms of numbers they talk in they talk in terms of figures whether if if they are in a government job if they are in a structure which you know um sees status first so they like to aim high you know they like to look at a higher status they look at a quantified payoff so whatever they achieve they they should be able to translate it into either a rank or a position or money so some kind of quantifiable objectives is what these people you know look at working towards right so uh, that was the gist about uh, you know rahu in the sign of capricorn a uh, few things which these people need to uh, watch out for with this placement is that whatever comes you know whatever comes in life usually what happens success is a little delayed you know some kind of obstacles do come but such people tend to shine a little later in their lifetime little later as in after the uh, mid life say uh, late 30 uh, late 30s or early 40s so one has to be very very patient and very perseverant in whatever they are achieving whatever they are working towards and the home front is something which these people should be a little soft about be a little you know concerned about rather than leaving things to their spouse or leaving things at home a little neglected so that is the area of struggle which these people find uh, themselves in time and again right otherwise this is a fantastic placement uh, especially for people who are uh, working in large organizations as i mentioned such people tend to become ceos and cfos and you know uh, they head large organizations if all goes well so as i said after the 40s time period you know usually you find them at very important positions and uh, the decision making ability also improves with time but a lot depends on when the rahu dasha comes here and one more thing which is very important to note out here is that if the rahu dasha comes yes i mean that's that's good enough uh, and if rahu is in a good dignity in the hor- in the horoscope works very really well for these people but at the same point in time if the lord of the sign of capricorn saturn saturn also comes in or saturn periods also come in saturn dasha it could be saturn sare sati these periods also give a boost to your career so one has to really see as to when these periods are coming and really in cash on to these time periods for their career for their work front right so that was my analysis on uh, rahu in the sign of capricorn i'll come soon uh, with rahu in the sign of aquarius till then keep watching and god bless bye bye